I don't, I don't think there were ever uh, any problems that made me want to quit research, but I did have problems getting funding. So there were times when, particularly, you know, the structural work, which I wasn't a structural biologist and nobody really, it was everybody recognized it was a very difficult pro problem. So um, there, were, there were times when, it, when funding was, um, was, a, was a problem, but I don't really think I ever thought of giving up. Um, and it may be that uh, I always thought that there was a solution. So no matter when a, an experiment failed, I always could think of something else to try. And I, I also, I think it's important for, for every scientist, I learned that every experiment should, um, I should assume that every experiment is going to fail and build in troubleshooting into that experiment. So when a, an experiment didn't work, I could go back and take it apart and try to, to at least figure out what went wrong. And I still think that's really an important skill for everybody to learn. But unfortunately, if you do a, an experiment 10 times, you, know, the, you, you think by the 10th time, OK, I know this is going to work. I'm not going to do those extra steps. And then it doesn't work. And then you, you know, you, you've lost a day, and you don't know why. So. Um, that, you know, I would say that's probably one of the strengths I've had is at least is in the lab I was, um, I was careful enough to know why things didn't work and I was, if I didn't have ideas on what I could do, I could ask other people and you know, whether they were crazy ideas or not, if there was something that I could try, I would try it.